Uh, my name is Sierra Paskey, uh, recently Sierra Paskey Kirtan. I just got married in August. Um, I'm a third year grad student at the University of Montana working in Chris Palmer's lab. I'm Hunk Papa Lakota and also a Rukura, but I'm an enrolled member of the Standing Rock Lakota Sioux Tribe. So I'm an analytical chemist, uh, which means I work with a lot of instruments and do a lot of analysis. When I was a lot younger, probably in like middle school, um, I used to watch like CSI shows a lot. And I always thought it was so cool that they could solve crimes using science. And I was like, that's what I want to do. And that's basically the short answer of how I got here. It wasn't until high school that I took my first chemistry course. And uh, it was just, you know, basic general chemistry everyone has to take. But I loved it. And I think it had partially to do with my teacher um, because he made everything have some real life connection. And that kind of just sparked my interest where I'm like, chemistry is literally in everything we interact with every single day. Um, but he really pushed me to like pursue that into undergrad. So I did that um, and did actually a forensic science degree in my undergrad with an emphasis in chemistry. So I got to do a little bit of everything. And then in undergrad is again where I had mentors who were like, you could go further, you could do more with this if you want to. Um, and that's how I ended up pursuing a PhD program. Being indigenous in STEM has opened a lot of doors for me that I don't think would have been open otherwise. So when I get into those spaces, I do feel accepted. So there's like the Sloan program at the university, uh, which is all just uh, PhD and master students in uh, STEM programs. And it's really nice to have that kind of community um, and also to talk with them about you know our struggles as indigenous scientists. I think indigenous science to me is just a better understanding of the world. Um, I've always held the notion that you know indigenous people were the first scientists of um, this uh, continent. I did a lot of medicinal plant research in my undergrad and that's one of my favorite topics to kind of look at in research because you know native people when they were here they had to go through trial and error like scientists do now to figure out what is a good plant, what's a bad plant, how much to take, when should I take it for what, kind of stuff like that. So they did all that um, before Western education came over here. So they were already doing science long before science was here. Um, and so anytime I can learn a little bit more about the earth, that's, that to me is indigenous science. Just do it, just go for it. Because who knows what you could do in the future. Um, I didn't think I'd be here <laughs> after, after having one chemistry cl class in high school. Um, but I was, I had my interest peaked and I was like, I'm going for it. I'm going to keep seeing what I can learn. And I also think don't be discouraged by other people. I was really lucky to have a lot of mentors who encouraged me, but there's also some people, you know, out there who would be discouraging and be like, you know, you're not really smart enough. I mean, as an indigenous woman in STEM, you know, there's a lot of areas where I feel like I can't fit in and it's just, I need to block those out sometimes, like, okay, that's what they think. It's not what I'm capable of or what other people think of me. I liked the, the question about, you know, what would you tell your, these students? I would say pursue it. Pursue science, no matter what. Um, find something you're interested in, if it happens to be science, awesome. Um, and grasp it and, and see what you can learn with it.